Okay, we're going to introduce you to the uh, RD1 rebreather or the rebreather day one system. Uh, the unit was originally conceived back in 2017. Uh, it was purpose built for uh, very long duration shallow water marine harvesting. Uh, and we've since evolved the system to move towards production. Um, and it's a very powerful, very powerful tool. It's an incredibly simple rebreather. Um, with lots of room to customize and reconfigure uh, for other types of diving, whether it's as a mixed gas unit or an integrated system into other types of life support. Uh, for this breakdown, we're going to introduce it as it was originally conceived as an oxygen only rebreather, uh, and we'll point out a number of nuanced features that. Um, we incorporate in the system that we think will carry over well into other types of rebreathers. So as an entire package, uh, it's a back-mounted unit, fully loaded dive-ready, weighs in the low 30-pound range. Um, the, uh, the kind of a core of the system uh, is this green spine piece. So that's basically the chassis that everything fits to that you see. So we have a scrubber, uh, which is fit with a Kanban. The scrubber holds five to five and a half pounds of soda sorb, soft line, or whatever your absorbent of choice is. Uh, we'll break that down further in a, in a subsequent video. Uh, we also fit two cylinders. Uh, in this case, when as configured for oxygen only, we have our oxygen supply on the diver's right. So we follow that rich on right uh, mantra from technical diving and then uh, the left hand cylinder is bailout so it's not incorporated into the rebreather it's just a standalone cylinder um, that gives you enough gas to get to the surface and make a surface swim uh, as needed it could be used for suit inflation uh, you could also replace this cylinder with a large battery pack for uh, lights or heated undergarments and so on um, but it does balance the rig off incredibly well to have these two cylinders mounted to the spine with the scrubber. Um, and then everything is mounted to a standard back plate. So this is a back plate that we supply with the system. Uh, it's just a standard aluminum back plate. Any back plate or backpack will fit. The unit can also be fit to um, a stab jacket style BC or just a simple plastic diver's backpack. Um, so lots of options for fitting this to the harness of choice. Um, this back plate uh, affords very easy adjustment of the shoulder straps. Uh, we've got shoulder pads which are an option and a crotch, adjustable crotch strap. Um, so very simple uh, and in oxygen only mode, generally we don't need a BC or a wing, but it's very easy to fit any type of wing you choose um, using the studs that are provided. So, um, in between the studs, we've got our back plate, we've got our counter lungs. Uh, these are two four liter lungs, um, the same threads as MSR style bags, which have been used in other systems. Um, and then through to our, our green spine. So this unit dives, uh, it breathes right to left. And my philosophy with that is that, you know, we're so well ingrained to, for the, our, our regulator and open circuit diving to come over our right shoulder. So I wanted to maintain that thought where we're breathing in over our right, and in this case, exhaust uh, over the left. So on the inhalation side, we're breathing through our scrubber. Um, the inhalation T-piece is an adjustable uh, pressure relief or exhaust valve. Uh, all the hoses are these very nice, nice stretch hoses, uh, inch and a half ID. Our DSV is a simple one-handed operation, obviously directional flappers at the DSV uh, to direct our flow. On uh, the exhalation T is our gas addition valve. In this case, it's just connected to oxygen. Uh, in oxygen-only mode, 
this is placed on the exhalation side so that during pre-dive, when we want to flush the unit with 100% oxygen, we ensure that we get a very good aggressive flush through the entire unit. Uh, of course, on mixed gas diving, your ADV would typically be on the inhale side. Um, and we'll dive into that, no pun intended, uh, in subsequent videos when we talk about mixed gas upgrades. So in any case, we inhale, we exhale through the scrubber. This is our breathing loop, right to left, right to left. Um, one thing that I'm big into is color coding. You'll see that on the inhale side, uh, we have green stickers. So green, green. Green is good. So green is scrub gas. It's clean. It's oxygenated. That's what we want to breathe. It's green. On the exhale side, we have red stickers. So red is carbon dioxide rich. Um, it's been exhausted. It's depleted. Red, red. So from, that serves a couple purposes. One is um, to aid with assembly to make it easy to just line up colors and know what's going on. Uh, second is in the water, uh, even a diver not familiar with the unit can look at this and say, that's somewhat intuitive. Green is good, red is bad. I know that this is the uh, inhalation side uh, where we're introducing fresh gas to the diver. And then similarly, what we do is color code the oxygen system. So we've got a green knob, a green hose protector, and a green sticker on the gas act valve so we know this is all green, all oxygen. Um, so that's it. I mean, this is an incredibly simple unit, uh, but extremely capable and a very powerful tool. It's very well built. Um, the demands I place on my equipment as a working diver are really extreme. Uh, you know, I'll have days where this thing is knocking around the boat um, for several hours, and I'm doing, you know, three, four, five hour long dives, and um, and then it's an aggressive vessel ride home. So the equipment is very robust, can take some abuse, um, but also very powerful. So in a subsequent video, we will break down some of the key components and. Um, teach you a little bit more about our Rebreather Day 1 philosophy.